So this offseason, the Houston Texans added a new wide receiver to the lineup. To go with Tank Dell and Nico Collins, they added Stephon Diggs. But one of the best Texans in Houston's history was Andre Johnson. So today, we're giving C.J. Stroud, Andre Johnson, and Stephon Diggs to work with. And we're going to see how well these Texans can go. Because they already have a really good receiving core in general. So just to add on to it like this is kind of insane. So let's see. Week one. How's this going to go? We got to play the Indianapolis Colts here. And they beat the Colts. Okay, 34-9. Week two. By the way, little side note here. If CJ Stroud doesn't win MVP, that might be a travesty. Okay, if he cannot get MVP with this receiving core, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I full-heartedly believe he'll get MVP with this receiving core. Um, 3-0 already. Which, again, I'm not, I don't know any team, in realistically speaking, that could beat this team. With having Andre Johnson as well, that's very difficult to beat. 5-0 starting off the season. Okay. 6-0. Now you play the 0-6 Packers. Should be an easy win. It is Madden though. Keep that in mind. EA. Okay. 7-0. Yeah, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm really not sure who's going to... Oh, the Colts beat them. Okay. Divisional matchup lost. It's a divisional matchup loss. Okay. And then they lose back-to-back -back games to the Jets and the Colts. And then they lose the Lions. Bro! There's no way. Okay, they beat the Texans. All right, hold up. Hold the fluff up. So... Oh, they got a tough schedule. They got a tough schedule ahead of them. Okay, and then their bye week's knocked to week 14, so that's going to be fun. Okay, they won that game. Not bad. Let's see if they can continue down this rabbit hole here. They lose to the Jags, so going into their bye week, they're 9-4, and four, and they currently control the a uh, AFC South, but not by a huge margin. CJ Stroud's having a good season. Joe Mixon's having a good season. Um, surprisingly enough, no one hit a thousand yards for them yet. So they started off seven and zero, and now they're nine and four. Yeah, definitely took a downward slide. I will say, at the end here, they started off so amazingly good, just to kind of take a downward slide. But a ten and three Dolphins. They lose that game. They play the 6-8 and eight Chiefs. I'll be honest with you. I really thought they were going to go undefeated. I really thought they were going to go undefeated. And now they're sitting at a point where they potentially might not make the playoffs. You were 7-0. and oh, And now you're one game away from not making the playoffs. They made the playoffs because the Colts lost as well. They made the playoffs as the seven, or as the sixth, no, fourth seed. They won the division. That is insanity. Wow, I was not expecting that. To start off seven zero and then finish the season with a nine and eight record. That is horrendously bad. I mean, okay, yeah. Three 1,000-yard receivers, you know? Just, I don't even know what to say, man. That's like, yeah. Okay, CJ Stroud was third in MVP race. Um, Let's just see how the playoff goes, because that's quite disappointing. You played 12-5 Dolphins, first round in the playoffs, and you beat the Dolphins. Okay, I thought they were going to lose. Now you played 11 and 6 Chargers in a divisional. You beat the 11 and 6 Chargers. You played a 13 and 4 Jets in the AFC Championship game. 
and they're in the Super Bowl now. So they get to the Super Bowl versus the Chicago Bears. I'll be honest with you. I expected them to get to the Super Bowl. Just with a better record. I would have, then they lose the Super Bowl. They end up losing the Super Bowl in the end. Like, I expected them to get there. Just get there with a better record than what they had. I wasn't expecting them to get to the Super Bowl with a 9-8 record after starting off 7-0. and If I had a billion dollars to guess what the record would be when they started off 7-0, and 9-8 would probably be the last thing I would project. I think 8-9 and nine would be the last one. 9 and 8 would be a very close second. Like, 9 and 8 after starting off that season so amazingly. I can't say I'm surprised, though. This is Madden, and everything is so random in Madden. Can't wait to see what they do in real life, though, with that second half stretch. Whew, that uh, definitely does not seem like it's for the week. That is definitely a tough stretch at the end. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, guys. See you guys next one. Peace out.